Hi guys, today we are going to see how to create your Ionic capacitor project in Ionic. So, in Python we are going to create this project. Here we have created Ionic native Android application using capacitor. Now, Ionic team created a new project called capacitor. So, it will replace the code of our project as is. So, today this is in, before this, this is in alpha version only. So, I am going to create a simple, very basic project and how we are going to deploy it together and simulate So, first, before going developing under all the projects, first we have to ensure we have all the three requisites for our project. So, today we are going to see how to create a project and how to integrate capacitor in our ionic project, then how to configure the platform for Android and iOS. Then we are going to build the project and going to deploy into the emulator. Then we go step by step. First step, we have to ensure all the software. Before proceeding, ensure that we have latest version of Node.js version 8.3 and the NPM 5.2 and above. And also, we have to install NPS and Ionic CLI to create a project and build the project. Then we have to ensure we have Android Studio and Android Emulator is installed. Okay, guys, we go to create a new project. So, first we have to create a empty project using Ionic start command. So, already created in my desktop to reduce my time. So you can see the command and then you have a creation and it starts my first capacitor. This is my blank application. I don't have anything here. So you can see here. So I have only have the page and the home page. That's it. Nothing is there. So now once you create a make blank application, then we have to configure or integrate the capacity for that. So we move to the set. Step 2. First step is we have to install capacitor CLI. So, using the NPM. So, you can see, I have already installed NPM capacitor CLI using NPM command. So, that is already updated. That is the translation. You can see the capacitor CLI in the code. The next step is we have to install, we have to create a capacitor.config.json. This file is used by the capacitor CLI. So I have created one other file, capacitor.config.json. Here we have to configure bundle web runtime and web directory. There we have to copy all the files after compilation. Then we have to give the window and the studio file. So, initially when you creating this file, you should not use this field. So, it should not come together. So, better just use this two field and add the platform using NPX capacitor and drive. I already added the Android platform in my project. So, it will not add again, it will show error. So you can see it's already exists. So if you try to move it, then it will add. Then once all the power formula is and uh, before that we have to configure tip field in package.json. Go to package.json and go to tip field, then add capacitor field capacitor parameter and provide the field capacitor. Then you also capacitor. So our next step is configure the platform. I already explained we already added the platform. If you want to add IOS, then you can use NPM capacitor add IOS. So already add up. So almost we complete the safety. Now we can move to how to build the Ionic project. You are already familiar with this one if you have already created any 
and then we are going to so we are going to take the bind of it so npm run ionic bind production version so just enter to create production version Just wait for a couple of minutes for it to load. Compile and Now ionic is computed as a production bin. Okay. Once it's done, we are going to copy the compile the version into the particular platform which platform you want. So we need to use the command npm. The first is the copy. This command copy the all the production code or component code into the targeted platform. If you omit the specific version, it are copied to the all the Installed platform. Thank you. Let's go to the top. We are more than we are in the project and copy to the particular platform. Now our next step is opening the particular compiled version of code into the IDE. So now we are going to use Android only. So I I am going to open my code into the Android Studio. Can you see it? Just for picture. Open. So it will ask you which platform you want to open. Android, iOS, or web. As of now I have Android only. I am choosing Android. It will take some time to launch and actually and to open the process. Yeah, it is launched and actually. So if you face any error to launch while using this command, so we have to use a path like this. Windows and actually path. We have to configure the capacitor dot config dot JSON, and we have to add the field Windows and then Studio font. Windows and then Studio font. This is my and then Studio. There I have installed my and then Studio. Now and then it comes. So I am opening second time or make it pause. If you open first time, it will have some configuration. Just press OK and now to the valid data. Okay. Now my credential thing is some going to complete because this is the second time wait, so it will not take much time as first time. And what is done? Now we are going to deploy the application to the Android device. So I have already mentioned all the SDK version compiling SDK version within the SDK version. Now I have to study. So 
if you want to configure your company SDK version, go to file, go to file, select project structure, in the wizard, then go to module name, your app is my module name, then go to company SDK version, I am using 26 as a company SDK version and 26.0.2 as a business tool version. So you you have to configure this too. Generally the code will be complete. Once you select a grade will grade will start to think again. I already done. Then I am going to deploy my code. So once everything okay, then run menu will be will be enabled. And select run. We already started to update the code. If you see that emulator, it will install the application. You can see that. So it has to be your target device. Either emulator or connected device. So I have on the emulator device, select emulator and click OK. This is my emulator. So as of now, effort is ready for capability to take this directly from CLA. So we have to use any intermediate and the studio ID like that. In iOS, we have to use export to modify or take it in the whatever it is. In future, we might expect that capacitor will replace the code our plugins and everything. So it will implement lot of features. And nowadays, they have implemented a lot of plugins uh, like the code our application. We can use all the plugins like a camera, file upload, new location, network, all the stuff. Okay, this time my application started to launch. Yeah, see that so it's already opened the application. If you click the dock, and also you can notice that it doesn't take much time compared to code over. It took less time to launch the application. And the main benefit of the capacitor is we don't need to wait until platform gets loaded to use any plugins of or any uh, hardware that is attached to the devices. That's the main benefit of the capacitor. Thanks guys, we are almost done. Please subscribe for TechCraft channel. Thanks a lot, thanks for your support. Bye bye.